So I'm gonna tell you guys how I went from a 487 on my first practice test to a 514 in the whole one and a half year journey that I had in between. So the first few months when I started out doing my MCAT practice test, I was getting like 480s to 490s for so many of my first few months. And it was like, what am I doing wrong? Like I am trying to study, I am reading some of the Kaplan books and I was taking courses and I needed a 510 at my BSMD program to matriculate to the college of medicine so my goal was always to get that 510 and move on from there and I did the Princeton review course and the course consisted of three days throughout the week where they had classes and they taught us the material that was gonna be tested on the MCAT and it was like in a slide and question format so they had slides they talked about what stuff was on the slides and they questioned us the content later on throughout the course and this is what I thought was enough for me to get the score so I did that I did a little bit of UWorld. world I did all the AM material and you know I was making handmade flashcards for a lot of terms especially psych terms and I was like okay I'm ready I got this January 2020 my first exam and I take it and I get a 507 right after I left the exam I was like man if I only knew more OCHEM and it was true I hadn't really learned all of OCHEM in school yet and my chem section of the test was not that good the score is pretty low so I was like okay I'm gonna retake this and I'm gonna get that 510 goal and I'm gonna study OCHEM really thoroughly. So I was trying to schedule an exam, but COVID hit. The infamous pandemic that hit everywhere across the world had hit and I couldn't get an exam in it anywhere. I had to reschedule my exam five separate times and I was in like a limbo if I'm even gonna be able to take the exam again within this year. It was a whole charade of nonsense. And on top of that, then comes news that they shorten the exam out of nowhere. And it's not the same exam. The timing is gonna be a little bit different. The sections are gonna be different in terms of time and length. And that really threw up my practice. I was like, okay, I was practicing for a longer test for longer sections, uh, but now the time's all thrown off. So I gotta practice for the shorter ones. Like, okay, got this. I'm going to do more U World than I did before. I'm going to read all the Kaplan books um, very detailedly this time. And I'm going to study OCHEM really, really thoroughly. I do this all. I get a test in June in a different state than where I live. So I had to go to a different state to take a test. And June of 2020, I take that test. I get a 506. I had studied even more than my first time and I did even worse. Like, it made no sense. And on top of this, it was so bad because this was the last time I could take the exam to get that 510 in order to go from my undergrad to medical school program in that time frame because I had opted for the two years of undergrad and wanted to go to med school after those two years were over. And I had ruined that chance. On top of that, I scored worse than my first time when I put in more effort and the pandemic was going on and I couldn't you know, schedule enough. It was just so much of a mess. And now I had to stay an extra year at that school pay extra year of tuition and at that time I thought it was all of a waste of time. So then I started thinking, I was like, shoot, how do I get that 510? What do I need to do? How many more chances do I have? And realistically, I was like, I have one more chance. And so I was like, all right, I'm gonna put everything into this third chance. I'm gonna do it all. I got a private tutor from MCAD Mastery, now MedLife Mastery, and it was great. Um, this guy really helped me with every little weakness I had, any question I had, I even texted him. And he gave me responses for all of them. He helped me throughout the way, made sure I was like, and my hand held and walking down for everything that I needed help with. And that was really great. On top of that, I did all of UWorld for the first time now. I did all the AMC material for like the third or fourth time now because I had been redoing it for every time I took a test. And then um, I started doing cars religiously um, every single day, like two passages. And then I was just doing everything possible. Then September 2020 hits. My test is there. I'm ready for it. I feel great. 508. Two points off from what I needed. It felt it felt like so demotivating because I had put so much effort. I even had a private tutor this time and I only improved one point for my last best score. I felt like all a waste and it felt like not only did I put so much effort, I'm spending an extra year. I couldn't get past it into two years and I can't even do three years. Um, yeah, it, it was tough. It was a rough moment. So then I kind of gave up at that moment and I was like, you know, I'm just going to focus on applying to other schools, DO schools and lower tier MD schools, which fit in with my, you know, criteria, the, the test scores that I had because they weren't that great. So I applied to them and I started having some success. You know, I got into some schools, but the school I wanted to get into out of those, uh, out of the other schools, 
Cups. I didn't get into it, I got waitlisted. And then it was like, man, I'm not getting the scores I want to the main school I wanted to go to, the BSMD. Can't do that, obviously, because I don't have a 510. But now even out of the other schools with the lower scores, like the lower tier schools, I can't even get to the best one that I wanted from there. So it's like, oh, what, what do I need to do? And then, you know, my dad motivates me. He's like, you know, you, you got into a place. You know, he's like, son, you got into a school. You have nothing else to worry. Why don't you take it another time? Take it for that 510 and see how you do. And he's like, you literally have nothing to lose. You're in a school, you're set. You're gonna go to med school. And I was like, huh, you know, you're not wrong. And I was like, all right, if I'm gonna do it this fourth time, I'm gonna do something super drastically different. I'm gonna change everything up because it hasn't been working the past three times. And I felt like I knew all the stuff by this point too. So it wasn't like I need to do content review or anything. It was just practicing, refining my test skills, refining the content knowledge I had and making sure I could do everything in a timely manner. Now for this fourth exam, the test format reverted back to the normal format of the longer times, the longer section times and no longer short in COVID times. So I did AMC exams for like the fifth time. It isn't really like worth it at the fifth time, but it was just more so to see the questions, like the style of question that they do again, just, you know, keep it fresh in my brain. And I did blueprint exams and Altius exams. Now these were great exams. I really highly recommend them over Princeton Kaplan ones. They give you great, great detailed stuff. And it's kind of more intense than the actual exams, but you know, it prepares you in the right way. While I think Kaplan Princeton are just excessively hard and not even related to the actual exam. So Altius and blueprint, I hammered those in my fourth time and this fourth time I wasn't like super stressed about studying I was super relaxed I was hanging out with friends and studied only like you know a certain amount of time throughout the day and relaxed the rest of the day and I felt just more relaxed during the whole study process. And it felt great. I went over u -World for the second time as well. So that gave me some good knowledge base, went over everything, you know, redoing your world really solidifies everything. And I had been accumulating handmade flashcards since the first time I took MCAT. So every time I took it, I had more and more and more. And now I had like a thousand handmade flashcards that I'd go over, like every week I'd go through those a thousand cards and you know, that was really helpful as well. Then comes January 2021, exactly one year from my first MCAT date. And you know, I'm sitting down, I take the test, get the score, 514. I did it. It was a 514. I was so happy. It was like one of the best days I could ever have. That day, I still remember the whole day. I saw my parents, I saw my friends. I basically just relaxed. I felt like a big load came off my shoulders. It just felt amazing. It was like, yes, I got it. All that effort, all that time, and I could finally do it. And through this journey, it was a very tumultuous journey. So much happening, worldwide stuff, personal stuff. It just I, yeah, it was very hard, very tough. But looking back, I'm very happy that I went through this because I grew so much throughout that suffering and pushing onwards and making sure I could get better, better. And it's really helped me in med school because it only gets tougher. And if you've been through tough times and you know you can push through and keep pushing through, you can be put in tougher times later on and keep pushing through. So I'm glad I didn't get it in within my first one or two times because then I wouldn't have that. I wouldn't be able to get through med school, I truly believe that. So the third and fourth time really solidified, you know, that extra time in undergrad really helped me solidify how to study, how hard to push myself, and you know, that I could do almost anything. I know that I could do anything if I keep pushing myself. And hopefully this is motivation for all you guys taking MCAT, especially for you guys retakers. A lot of my friends call me the master of retakes. So if you guys are retaking your MCAT, hopefully this is a motivational story. Don't give up, keep pushing. If you have a real goal in mind, keep pushing for that. There's a quote, now I don't know the exact quote, but it's like, if you keep doing the same thing, don't expect a different result. So if you're getting the same scores, if you're in that same ballpark, change it up. Try something brand new, because doing the same thing is gonna get you the same result. So do something new, add in some new stuff, and hopefully it works out. I know you guys can all do this. Hopefully this is motivating, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.